Hello and welcome to the Bay Pay Forum's daily news podcast. I'm Lisa, here to bring you the latest in payments and fintech. This episode is proudly sponsored by Paycademy.com, your leading online resource for learning about the payments and fintech industry, anytime, anywhere, with over 220 courses at your fingertips. Let's dive into today's top stories. Helsum launches invoice payments for QuickBooks Online. Helsum, a payments company specializing in services for small businesses, has introduced a new feature called Helsum Automated Invoice Payments for QuickBooks Online. Story secures $212 million United States dollars in a new funding round. Mexico-based fintech Story, which provides services for the country's unbanked population, has announced a new funding round totaling $212 million United States dollars. Orenda joins forces with Tribe. UK-based embedded finance platform Orenda has announced that it selected Tribe to integrate its issuer processing solutions. Lucky One secures US$3 million United States dollars in funding. Egypt-based fintech company Lucky One has announced that it secured US$3 million United States dollars in funding, aiming to leverage the capital to further expand its discounts and credit platform. Axis Bank facilitates seamless GST payments. India-based Axis Bank has integrated with the GST portal to enable its commercial card corporate customers to make GST payments. Royal Air Maroc collaborates with Amadeus. Royal Air Maroc has partnered with Amadeus to advance its strategic digital transformation efforts, which are part of a comprehensive development plan. Stripe introduces no-code adaptive pricing. U.S.-based financial infrastructure platform Stripe has announced the launch of a no-code adaptive pricing solution to support users in offering buyers their preferred local currencies. Applause reveals increased transaction abandonment due to limited payment options. Testing and digital quality solutions provider Applause has released a survey indicating consumers' tendency to abandon a transaction due to limited payment options. Payhawk partners with Marketa to combat fraud. Payhawk, a worldwide spend management solution, has partnered with Marketa to prevent fraud and misuse of corporate funds using advanced card controls. New law in Singapore addresses money laundering offenses. The Singapore Parliament has approved a bill that allows courts to address properties associated with suspected criminal activities more effectively. Morgan Stanley to offer Bitcoin ETFs to select clients. Morgan Stanley has allowed its network of financial advisors to offer Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, ETFs, to certain clients. France starts issuing crypto service provider licenses. The French market's regulator, Autorette des Marques Financiers, AMF, has began accepting applications for crypto asset services provider, CASP, licenses. Stripe and Bitstamp to expand crypto on ramp in Europe. Payments processor Stripe has joined forces with crypto exchange Bitstamp to to enhance EU crypto access and enable seamless fiat to crypto conversions. Blockchain.com partners with Proof to accelerate KYC. UK-based crypto platform Blockchain.com has integrated Proof Identity to enable instant and secure user verification. Australian banks to launch COP anti-scam service. Australian banks, led by AP Plus and ABBA, have announced the launch of confirmation of payee service by 2025, enhancing security by verifying payee details before payments. Thank you for joining us for today's coverage. Remember, you can delve deeper into any story we discussed today by visiting our news section at baypayforum.com. We're here every day, bringing you the critical insights and latest trends across the payments and fintech landscape. Until next time, I'm Lisa, thanking you for watching and inviting you to join us again tomorrow for more updates. Stay informed, stay ahead.